everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I'm joined with my lovely co-host, Gummy, for another Wattpad reading. Yay! You sound so excited to be back. Of course! <laughs> and you know what came out two days ago? What is it? The Stardew Valley, a big, super huge, du super duper update. Yay! More content! <laughs> Content, fan art, fan fiction. And what better thing yeah. than to revisit a fan fiction we read like ages ago? <laughs> yeah, a decently long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go back and visit June, the emo, and Sebastian, the emo, who is somehow less emo than June. Yeah, we're just, we're just built different. That's all. <laughs> just just built different. It's what wor worshipping Gerard Way does to an MF. <laughs> if we could hear us, Gerard Way, please. Please save us, Gerard Way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, what I remember is we're, we're in chapter 4. I had to actually go back to the footage like, what fucking chapter did we leave off? <laughs> right. We're being angsty, and we're, we have some like dark, haunted memories from the city, and we moved here, and then we met Sebastian, yeah. and we're being emo together, and then Sam is involved, and then I think Abigail, I don't know, I didn't really remember. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, was, was like, a lot of lore building. Yeah, that shit was fucking for like ever ago. <laughs> I don't got no memory. Oh yeah. Well, we'll, we'll sure as hell remember now. Yeah, it will come funny back. Like, being like, huh? Huh? What's going? Oh. <laughs> we'll, yeah. be, we'll oh. be squinting at the screen like an old lady, just like what? Are, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I reading? Yeah. What is that word? <laughs> Email boy. <laughs> uh, what is? What does that mean? Honey, what does that mean? <laughs> All right. All right. All right. While, while you get over your hiccups, real quick, I shall. I'll show no. the wee. <laughs> I would never. Right, chapter four. The day after, I swore to myself I would never let Sam sway me ever again. With every <laughs> oh yeah, prof profound word I could come up with, I cursed that blonde hair boy in his charming smile. What the fuck her. did Sam do? Uh, I guess he was nice to her. I think that's what I remember. Damn, how dare he? <laughs> um, he's a nice guy. I hate these nice guys. Nice guys finish last, for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm about to tap out early. Continue reading. I, I had awakened from a massive headache, one that seemed too, in, too intensive upon the glare of the sunshine that poured onto me. As much as I wanted to lay in bed the whole day, I knew I had to get work done. Much to my surprise, the seeds I planted days earlier were starting to sprout. Green leaves poking through the ground, their colors so bright compared to the bleak colors of the pale ground. Parsnips, from what Mary Lewis uh, had given me. I was shocked, of course. It was a simple tiny plant, but I created it. June, the person known for ruining lives at, at Joja, suddenly flourishing in it. <gasps> wow. If, if someone told me back then that I would be a farmer one day, I would have laughed and called them out for, of mo for mockery. But look at me now. Well, I was starting to dislike the idea less. Of course, I would never admit it to anyone. It shows signs of- oh, it does say. <laughs> it displays a weak point, a flaw that could easily be exploited. I can't let anyone know I'm enjoying my job. What would the, uh, the papers say? <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to hate your job and hate it well. <laughs> Bro, God bless. I suddenly longed to plant more seeds, feeling in my pocket for spares I knew I had, but they were empty, save for the few coins that I managed to save. I cursed loudly, only the winds to keep me company in the vast space. Yoba, I realized with a growl, when I had passed out at the mines, I left a bunch of my belongings there. Seeds, tools, no! valuables, I can't believe we got knocked out by a slime. <laughs> Oh yeah, womp. just like me for real. <laughs> womp womp. I didn't want to go back to the mines, remembering the horrifying creatures that lurked and pranced to prey like me. 
But then I remembered a tiny cabin built near the area. It wasn't Robin's, no, but another one. It was. Oh, in the update you can. Sorry, in the update you can put a tent in the cave now, so you could go to bed in the tent. <gasps> really? Okay. Yeah, hell yeah, this won't happen again. Alright, I need to get my boys together and be like, we gotta do another <laughs> Stardew Valley playthrough. <laughs> There's new Me shit. for real. Yes. I'll be like, you guys can fish and you guys can mine anytime you want. Just sleep in the tent outside. <laughs> True! It's like real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a brown chef tucked away quietly near the cliffs. Eerie, dark, and mysterious. The Adventurer's Guild. I had no doubt that they'd stalk through the mines all the time. They had to have had my belongings. Deciding to work on the farm a bit, I chopped down trees and cut through all the tall grass. Sweat trailed down my forehead, crawling down my spine, soaking my green overalls. I was baffled at the sight of me drenched in sweat, but honestly, I didn't care. We're built <laughs> different. I'm not different. like other girls. <laughs> not like other farmers. I like being dirty. <laughs> Quirky. Hours soon passed, and the bright sun was starting to drip back into the horizon. Shades of pink and orange filled the sky, almost like a real-life canvas of beautiful blended colors. The heat slowly dis uh, dimmed, and cool wind followed. Invisible specks danced through the dusk. I love that imagery right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the one I see when I walk out of like Target, like in the grocery store parking lot. What, it's always the view like that. Yeah, it's always the most beautiful view, just in the fucking like Midwest yeah. parking lot for me. Yeah, at least you get to see that when you get off of work. It's like, wow, maybe maybe, maybe this ain't so bad. <laughs> Bro, all right. I sighed in content, looking at the progress I made. A tiny section of the land was cleared, barren of any rocks or trees. My mind was- I had already pictured the layout I'd set out. The crops I planted, a possible coop, maybe even a pathway to walk on. Ah, well, that was only part of the work. Looking at the rest of the land that still needed to be fixed, I knew I had to put in more time into this. There was still a part of me that wanted to go and fix everything, everything at once. It's what I would have done in the city. Working for hours on end, surviving on endless amounts of caffeine, doing so until my, my body forced me to sleep. This isn't the city, I tried to remind myself, focusing instead on the clouds that seemed to disappear. After freshening up and eating some berries I had dug up before, I made my way towards the mountains, intent on retrieving my items. The sun still set, yet darkness would make its appearance soon. And then all the little googlies would just come out and deck my ass. <laughs> no, not the slimes! Not again! Yeah, they're putting on the-, the what is that fucking nun? What's that farm called that, like, the monsters come out at night? I have- Oh, I know what you're talking about, I have no clue. Yeah, the animatronics here do get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> <laughs> the, the animatronics do get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. The walk wasn't, like wasn't long as I followed the trail. My feet crunched along the path. I resisted the urge to keep glancing behind me, feeling the sensation of being watched. It was Sebastian in the bushes. <laughs> I tried to- Oh, hi, Bo Sebastian. I <laughs> didn't see you there. Yeah, that's crazy. Runs away. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to shrug it off, deeming it was probably the animals that were coming out at this time. Like a big ass bear. <laughs> oh, it's just a giant fucking bear. Yeah, it's just a. It's one of those like mountain lions. It's fine. They're just, they're chill. <laughs> chill mountain lions. They're just cats. Yeah. I just want to give it a big up pet. <laughs> you know? Oh fuck! I'm trying to remember. There's like this Twitter account that's like it's, it's like an actual like park and whatnot, but they have some dangerous animals that kind of go through like a hiking trail. So they're like, just as like as, as a reminder to hikers and uh, and passerbyers and travelers, please do not approach these animals. And then people in the comments are like, but they but soft, but cat, <laughs> <laughs> but they look huggable, but they're friend shaped. Yeah, yes, it's always that that one is like they're friend shaped. They just want a little hug. Just like me, I'm a little feisty too. Doesn't mean I don't want a hug. <laughs> The tension loosened as I saw the lake in the distance. 
By now, darkness fell upon the town, and the blue water seemed to glisten even in its stillness. Orbs of light floated underneath, illuminating a glow amidst the night. I neared the scene, wanting to capture it in the moment, but I stopped, seeing a dark figure was already there. Their back was to me as they watched the lake in its scenery, as if it's, as if like me, capturing, captured by its beauty. It was so quiet, so peaceful, I couldn't blame them. Hearing my approach, the figure slowly turned as the light traveled past their face. I knew exactly who it was. Sebastian? I said, my voice quiet. Oh, he actually yeah, coming out from the bushes? Oh my god, he is! <laughs> I called it! <laughs> I didn't realize it was him. I was expecting either Maru or Dem Demetrius observing the stars or night creatures. But then I realized they found more beauty in scientific matters, not in nature like this. Yeah, well, I guess I guess they're right. But like, so you can ob observe like the beauty of stuff, you know? True, you're allowed to do that. As an emo. Yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to enjoy the beauty of life as an emo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here, I can start here, and like when Bas Sebastian shows up, you can be him. Okay. If he, even, if he starts talking. All right. Without realizing it, I f is that right? Yeah. Without realizing it, I found myself stepping forward and stood next to him. He stiffened, but his shoulders soon relaxed. A frog croaked in the night. He loves frogs. The leaves <laughs> rustled. The scent of a cigarette greeted me, surrounding me in a fog. Damn, what's he puffing? Like, whole, like, cigar? Yeah, you actually turn to him and he's got, like, three cigarettes <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> oh god, dude! What the hell? You're gonna get cancer tomorrow! <laughs> There was silence as we both watched the unmoving waters. Whatever creatures that lived down there was quiet, as if they, if as if they too wanted to keep its serenity. Stars now hung above, offering little light in the bleakness. Without any form of discreet, I glanced at the person next to me, wanting to see up close who he really was. Sebastian was smoking, occasionally bringing it up to his lips. His dark hair now seemed almost purple. His pale skin complementing the color. His eyes betrayed no emotion as he gazed out at the scene before us. He still stared ahead as he said, You know, I like to come here alone at night to think. Where no one is to bother me. Everyone's asleep. People. Creatures. Nothing. Rue. His words. They were the most I've seen out of him since I first met him. That was a shock. That's oh, you. sorry. I was drinking. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. It's not alcoholic. It's Arizona iced tea. <laughs> what are you, Shane? <laughs> no, don't ever compare me to that <laughs> man. I'm insulted. <laughs> oh my I have God. standards. <laughs> Damn! And all my Shane stands have left the chat. All right. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> and I embrace the silence. Even when nothing, everything is shit in my life, I know that I have this place to myself. There was a comfortable silence after he spoke, when his words had faded off into the night. I tried to decipher his words, to understand what he was trying to say. And when it sunk in, I realized that I intruded at a place that was meant for him. He preferred quiet spaces, secluded, peaceful, a place for him to think. And here I was, Barge again and ruining that sanctuary. I can leave, I said. <coughs> this time, I can leave, it's fine, it's fine. This time, he did look at me, and before I could leave, he said, No, stay. Look at it. The lake, the quietness. Oh, uh, so I did. And he was right. The sound of rustling leaves and the way the waters moved allowed me to relax. With everything going on, I never had the chance to sit and think. To think about the city. To think about my new life here. Forget about the city, the town. This is actually pretty, not too bad, actually. Forget about the city, the town. This place is beautiful, and I suddenly wanted to stay in this moment forever. Sebastian took a whiff of his cigarette, the smoke trailing with every breath. The scent brought me out of that tranquility, my face turning to disdain. My lips pursed, my tongue held. 
I knew I'd lash out would not end well. It's like she's enjoying this beautiful well and she's like, Is that tobacco I smell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like, like, he just like, shit himself or something. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. But, he said, almost thoughtfully, What? I didn't like the way his lo eyes looked at me, Tam. How dare you look at me with your eyes? <laughs> Damn, how dare you look at me, yeah. my presence. Stop, I'm so ugly, stop. stop. <laughs> That's June right now. <laughs> True. Everyone always mentions how I would smoke, yet you aren't. Clearly you're not okay with it. He did have a point. How I wish I could just grab that roll and throw it into the depths of the lake. Damn. <laughs> There's no point in wasting my breath when I know it won't make a difference. Damn. Sebastian nodded, as if he already knew the answer. Then he dropped the cigarette to the ground, crunching it beneath his shoe. We both watched as a spark and it dimmed. Sorry for being a jackass to you at the beginning. He said, still staring at the cigarette butt. You barely talked! That's not considered anything. <laughs> Sebastian laughed, the sound echoing off into the night. It was melodic, in a sense, as if a laugh from him was so rare. He looked at me and there was a glint in his eyes. Not, Not everyone like. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Not everyone likes the silent treatment. I shrugged and didn't look at him. I'm not like everyone. I'm not like other girls. There's a lot of comments on that one. <laughs> Clearly. I didn't know if he meant that in offense or in a jokingly joke or a jokingly manner. He sighed wistfully, clearly thinking about something. I wanted to know what went on in that mind of his. What thoughts lingered there, the ones that always brought him to this very place. He was about to say something by the way he opened his mouth to speak, <laughs> until there was a sound that interrupted the silence. Sammy. Uh you could be <laughs> that person. We both flinched and <laughs> Sebastian started to curse under his breath. <laughs> the quiet that was once there was gone. Birds flew out of their nests. The water started to stir. That is that loud? Was it like, an, <laughs> did she gra grab like, what are those? Megaphone. What are they called? Megaphones? Yeah. <laughs> so much for some peace and quiet. Turning around, I felt strong footsteps come to the grounds towards us. I mentally braced myself for what was to come. I felt the sword at my side, ready to use it if necessary. <laughs> As the figure approached, I got ready, Anne. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian said with an eye roll, crossing his arms over his chest. What? <laughs> Indeed, Robin came into view, strands of her ginger hair hanging over her face. Didn't- Yeah, didn't she not like gingers or something? Or like, Robin, for some reason? Like, she literally said, hi, welcome to the farm! She's like, oh, I hate her! Oh, yeah, she did. I forgot about that. <laughs> the usual smile she bore was replaced with a frown, and I suddenly had the impression she was not here to ramble on about her carton bender shop. Isn't he an adult? Damn. <laughs> Sebastian has taken a step in front of me, blocking me from our view. I scowled. Did men really think I was always the damsel that needed to be protected? I was capable of handling myself. Him. But I was I glanced at the pissed off look at Robin's face. Well, maybe he can handle this one for now. And he did, the hard blow his mother gave to him. How what are you doing out here? It's dark. How many times have I told you not to be out during this time? She scolded him, every word as scorching as possible. Her voice couldn't have been any louder. Have you been smoking? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Gosh, Mom! <laughs> no! The scent of smoke still lingered, but it wasn't obvious to indicate that he was. I looked at the ground to see his foot clearly hiding the evidence. But Robin started. I couldn't see his face, but I knew Sebastian was not happy. Mom, I'm fine. I'm fine alone here. It's not even that far. Aren't you happy I'm getting out of the house for once? As the star's light illuminated his pale skin, it was clear he needed more sunlight. Damn. 
calling this man pasty. <laughs> I treat him like he's 14, he's like, what? Aren't these bachelors in their 20s? Yeah. <laughs> what? Jesus. <laughs> yes, but I prefer if you did it during the day. Did you see Maru? She's always coming back before dark, and she doesn't even have a curfew. I felt Sebastian flinch at the mention of his sister. Do you always have to compare me to her? Glad to see how you view your wayward son. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> Robin didn't say anything, clearly at a loss for words. Besides... Sebastian spat out. Before you make assumptions, just know I wasn't alone. Oh, damn, he's gonna w step aside and we're just like, Hey, Robin. I'm the alpha. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, I hated this boy for putting me into this situation. No doubt a way to save him from punishment. As if surrendering in defeat, I quickly stepped out from behind Sebastian and stood next to him. We stood side by side, looking at Robin's glare that seemed to fade away once she saw me. Robin! Was all I could really get out. Oh, June! <laughs> Her cheeks turned a shade of red, which I could make out in the dark. Oh, I'm terribly sorry you had to witness that. I didn't know. It's fine, I said, though I didn't think it was fine for Sebastian whose face had turned cold. I was just passing through. I have to go soon. Yes, all this conversation made me realize the real reason why I come here in the first place. <laughs> she nodded sheepish sheepishly, still embarrassed. Well, okay, how about you come over for dinner sometime? Like, tomorrow? I'm sure it gets lonely in that ranch by yours yourself alone. I, I, accents are hard. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. The accent police are coming. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say that I enjoyed the isolation away from so many people, but I held my words. A glance at Sebastian's now embarrassed face indicated he was not happy about this either. You don't have to. I replied. I just wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> no, no, I insist. The way she held that determination told me I couldn't refuse no matter what I said. There's no other option, I finally said. I'll be there. Honestly, I didn't want to go. <laughs> I have been content to be eating alone at the ranch, staring silently out the window. I was never invited for dinners like these. Robin seemed pleased at pleased at this, while her son became more embarrassed. He made a point not to talk to her, though. I'll even invite- wait, is this- oh, that is Robin. I was like, who the Mom. fuck talking right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'll even invite Abigail over too, Sebby. Bashan nodded, saying nothing else. You and I will have a talk when you get home. She gave me a warm smile that showed no indication of her outburst, and soon left. The door slowly shut, clear that Robin had gone. Sebastian turned to the lake. I need another smoke. <laughs> he took one out from another pack and lit it up quickly. You think he would vape? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I I feel like the like there's not really vapes at this like little farm area yet, but if he found some like, if he went down to the city, he'd be like, Oh my god, this is like banana flavor, holy <laughs> shit! Where has this been all my life? Like, mango? <laughs> Peppermint mango. Oh, yeah. Oh, god. <laughs> god. Be totally one of those vape bros on YouTube making, oh. like, puff cloud videos. Oh my god, he would. In his room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my- I can't believe she's this disgust, though. <gasps> Fine, I said, not to bother, hi not bothering to hide the disgust in my tone. Thanks for using me as bait. Wait, hold on. Who said that? Whatever. Thanks for using me as bait. I appreciate it. Whatever ease we had created with each other had completely dissipated. Gone. Sebastian continued to stare straight ahead, not even glancing at me. With a sigh, I shook my head. I didn't have to waste my time on him. He could sulk all he wanted to. I didn't care. And I walked away, leaving him to his own thoughts once again. It's like, not like I even care about you. It's not like just, you or anything. Baka. Just smoke your cigarette. <laughs> just smoke your fucking cigarette. I don't even care. I don't even care. I can't even right now. Oh my <laughs> <I can't> god. <laughs> <laughs> 
They say that teenagers scare the- <laughs> Just in, in her headphones, crying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You can be June. Alright. And I walk away, leaving him to his own thoughts once again. Little I'll I'll do the storm. sorry, we're closed. Oh, is it a, oh shit, we're too late. No no The time on the wall indicated that it had just struck ten PM and oh luck for me, I had walked in the moment they decided to shut it. Wait, doesn't it close at twelve PM? Am I crazy? <laughs> Um, I think it's, like, shorter on certain days. I don't know at all, though. It's been forever. Yeah. The Adventurer's Guild was a building I had never given much thought to. That is until I received a letter in the mail. It was a form of invitation to the Guild. <laughs> Frankly, it had seemed like an invitation for some sort of cult. And after hanging out with Sam and his friends, whose group seemed to mimic that sort of thing, it was a hard pass. <laughs> The man, I presume, was Marlin, stood behind the counter at the back of the room, turned around and posed to leave. The darkness around clearly showed the late hour of the night, but I wasn't going to let him. <laughs> My <Wow>. god, it's like, <laughs> like an old person at 8.59 a.m. trying to get in the building. Yeah. <laughs> well, open it again. I marched up to the counter, banging my fists against the surface. <laughs> oh Damn. God, being a Karen right now. This is a Karen fanfic. POV, people lining up for the Starbucks cup. <laughs> Just, no! Not, not the Stanleys. <laughs> Try to get an emo black Stanley. Oh my god, do they make those? I think, well they have black ones, yeah. Oh, okay. What was so special about those Starbucks ones? They're just pink, right? Ink and glittery in Starbucks. Okay. That, that There's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're amazing. <laughs> did, did you sure have a Starbucks? Yes. Oh damn, that must have sucked. <laughs> yes. So luckily, I didn't work that early. Oh, uh, good. I, I've oh seen yeah. Some... We have another restock Sunday. Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, at that moment, I didn't seem to care about the implications. I was still angry over the encounter with Sebastian and Robin, and I did not want to be turned around after making the wreck all the way here. That is, until the man turned around. Uh... Oh, the man turned around. A certain look on his face. He was old and had graying hair, but what I noticed first was his eye. The left one was covered with a black eye patch. The material slung over his head it was locked firmly in place. It didn't faze me at first. Then came the realization that he had lost an eye to one of those creatures in the mines. Wait, is that canon? <laughs> um, I think? I don't know. Probably. His body was not frail, but built, but built or muscle and strength. He was definitely a fighter. <laughs> I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Merlin merely stared at me. His one eye darting across my face. I just seen a few of my things. I know you have it. Oh damn, we are really acting like a character. I know you have it. I know you have it in the back. Yeah, check the back. Check the back. It, it says you <laughs> on my app right here. It said you have some in shock. Can you check the back for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it clocks out. Yeah. <laughs> I said as I as I dared to look at the man straight in the eye. I said we're close. I said. I said it's close. There was a groan and I snapped my neck to oh, my head to the side. Oh no. There was a second person there, a man <laughs> resting in the rocking chair. He moved back and forth, back and forth, mumbling incoherent words. How did I not see him before? It was probably the hmm. the fury and rape. Wait a minute, didn't this happen about the the bar thing? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> this is Blocking out my surroundings, the barrels that had lined the walls, pictures through of the monsters that have walked beneath these floors, the man in the chair who seemed to blend into the green walls. June, he said, in a voice that brought goosebumps across my skin. My name. He knew my name. But how? <sighs> His eyes opened in wide as he stared at me. I stared back. What? I said. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> His eyes <laughs> Those big ol' eyes. 
His eyes glazed over and his mouth hung open. It's like the fucking like, why he look at me like that? What's up, little man? I was like, dude, he's a baby. But <laughs> yeah. Look at his little face. That dumb little face. Oh my god. <laughs> He, he didn't answer right away. Silence followed. Only the creaking of the chair gave way. Back and forth. Back and forth. Suddenly, he brought his fingers up and pointed at me. Straight at my chest. You. 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 He really loves Soldier Boy. He just goes, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> He's just on repeat. It's like his one downloaded MP3 on his MP3. Yeah. You know those, like, um... It was probably more back in the day with like iTunes that give you like the little sample of the song. Yeah! He has to listen like... to the same 15 seconds. Yeah, this is the 15 seconds you got to listen to. <laughs> you, soldier boy, tell him you. He continued to rabble, speaking so fast you can barely register. Yo, he is speaking, soldier boy. <laughs> this time, True. I did back away and look at the man with the eye patch. He only shook his head as if it was a common occurrence for his friend over there. That's Gil for you. Take your things and leave. <laughs> he grabbed a few items under the counter and laid them out to me. I... And there it all was. A few items I knew I had. It was hard to ignore that burning gaze of the other of the man in the chair as I gathered them. I knew he was watching. I knew... He knew that I knew exactly what he was doing. Pelican Town is sure full of weird people, I thought to myself. It seemed to assure me, knowing that this was simply the norm. As I was gathering up, gathering them up and stuffing them into my little pocket space I had, I noticed something seemed to be glistening. Not like the pale waters of the lake from before. No, it was me something metallic. Something luxurious. <laughs> my hands lashed mm. onto a gold ring. Ooh, okay, we're selling that. Ooh. Melt it down, we got gold. <laughs> Okay. Mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mine now? <laughs> yeah. Yoink. It, it reflected off keepers. the light into the room and revealed no dents or scratches on it. Damn, that's a good one. And it, was, is... it was a green gem embedded into the middle. A bright color that even the most beautiful emeralds or, or jades could not compare. It certainly wasn't mine. But was I going to take it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This wasn't here before, I said, and showed it to Merlin. The ring was so small on the surface of my palm. What? How fucking tiny is his ring? <laughs> this is just a little, like, newborn ring. I was about to say, like, it goes on a newborn, and it goes on their pinkies. Or rats. Yeah. It's a rat ring. We're gonna be the queen of the rats. Rat ring. Rat king. Rat king. Yeah. Woo! will understand me. Yeah, yeah the r I'll be king of the rats. <laughs> we need to make a fan fiction of the fan fiction like an AU. Oh. <laughs> it's like a sub thing of this plot. It's like, what if we took the thing and became the took the ring and became the Rat King? <laughs> Could be thought. <laughs> Dude. He, sh he shrugged and started to walk down to the adjacent hallway that led to the back. Trust, Trust me, girl. Sorry. Yeah, no, I forgot how to read. No problem. Trust me, girl. It was there. I suppose it's yours now. He left and shut the door behind him. Looking back at the man in the chair, I slipped the ring onto my finger. It felt cold to the touch and relatively light. Whatever its purpose was, I felt nothing. Indifferent. Perhaps it was simply an accessory. Watch, we're gonna like show it to that one dude at the museum. He's be like, "Whoa, that's a dwarf wing. That's really rare. You should like give that to me." <laughs> wow. Not wanting that's to crazy. waste thoughts on a useless ring, I grabbed my things and quickly left the building. As I walked down the path, I didn't bother to glance at the spot where Sebastian was earlier. If he wanted to be alone, so be it. I would so never. So be it. <laughs> I would never come back to this place again. Never talk to me like I did before. <laughs> I opened up to a person and they rejected me. No, no one understands. He smoked the cigarette. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
the solitude of trees and dark trails, I some it suddenly occurred to me one thing. He was the boy. Wait, he was the boy. Was the cigarettes? <laughs> Okay. I was the city girl with farm tools she could barely use. Both stuck on two different planes with no way of making ever being one in the same. And maybe, just maybe, it deserved to stay that way. No, they need to be together forever! Yeah, this no! Is a, this is a fucking X reader, isn't it? <laughs> it's must. How many chapters? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, 20. Ah, uh, so I assume they'll fall in love, get married, and on one of those. Yeah, I mean, there's an epilogue, so maybe that does happen. That would be so cute. There's a, there's a Sebastian X reader with almost 500k, and then I'm recommended a Alistair one with almost a million views. Damn. Oh, holy shit! Let's go, Alistair. Hell yeah. I, I love the char- the one character that's in has been that's canonically ace like asexual. He is shipped yeah. with everyone. <laughs> every single per- every single person ever. Mm-hmm. Every single AFAB in the planet. Yeah. First it was Charlie, <laughs> and then Angel, and then there was Husk at some point, and now it's Lucifer, <laughs> and Vogt, and, and Rosie, and all these people. <laughs> <laughs> and Verbal Ace. Oh, yeah. I can't forget about Verbal Ace. <laughs> hide away, hide away from me. That's that's Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> and me. <laughs> P- POV us. <laughs> I need to draw fan art of like me with Sebastian running. Oh my I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was that was a trip. You know what? Now I'm gonna go listen to uh, Nine Inch Nails in my chemical romance uh, to get over that cigarette smell, that putrid smell. It didn't even smell like mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> God, he kept vaping in my face ever since I told him about it. Yeah, it keeps smelling like, like sour. Flavor. <laughs> it smells like sour <laughs> crown here. <laughs> sour apple. Oh my. <laughs> God. Okay. I'm about to lose my sanity. Me too, man. But uh, no, this was a very good book. It's just, it just the chapters are so long. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like the wording's good most of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, I just feel like it's a little too much world building. But that's okay. Yeah. But, but that but is everything. Not, the worst, not like the Clone High one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think about it sometimes. We had, we had to give like a like a prevention warning yeah. up in that one. That was terrible. I, I'm used to like, I mean, some of my Wattpad stuff. I have like warnings before them for like sexual content because like sometimes we we miss the mature tag or it's unlabeled. Yeah, but yeah, I've never had those a are awesome. for suicide and so. <laughs> I was like, wow, I guess it's the first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not expect that. Yeah. At least June isn't that emo. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I don't know if I First can handle it. <laughs> uh, emo jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll have the book link below in the description if you guys would like to read ahead and support the author. This shit's pretty good. So maybe if you like this book, maybe they have other ones that you would probably like as well. And then check out the playlist on screen for other book book club readings, including like other people reading like Jolene and Minho and whatnot, just to name a few. But thank uh, you for joining. And I me. also have previous readings. Oh yes, they were uh, in previous readings. You can read the, the I'll have it on screen fucking somewhere if I remember of <laughs> the first Sebastian one if you're interested. <laughs> yeah. I'll have content soon. I'm on I'm on the grind set. Well, like on YouTube or like your portfolio? My portfolio. Oh, gotcha. I'm, I'm trying to give you more but, work for uh, it, man. Oh, <laughs> I, I appreciate it so much. I'll definitely been working. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to come back and torch you guys some more. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yippee! Do I have that? Wait, guys, hold on. Well, this is really important. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Gummy, and we'll see you guys next time!
Bye-bye. Uh